top of the morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for Thursday, January 17th, 2019. So, my goodness, those bulls just push, push, push yesterday, and they pushed up very, very close to the 50 day moving averages. The 50 day simple moving average is a natural price barrier after we have fallen through. So, and, and we can see that we have have failed at or near that 50-day average area um, before and so far we're just testing the underneath side of it here if we take a quick look there is also a significant level of price resistance right here that could be affecting us uh, right in this area so we'll want to watch that closely today um, <clears throat> One thing I would say is with us being so close to the 50 day moving average, I would not want to rule out the possibility that the bulls will make some kind of an effort to reach up there and catch that level. But at the same time, we're seeing a little bit of bearishness this morning and a little bit of a pushback here. We've been really overextended in this move and need a bit more of a rest a bit more of a pullback so could that begin today yes it's possible but once again i would not rule out the possibility that those bulls make it a last ditch effort to reach up there and kiss that 50-day moving average on the diamonds the same thing would be true of the spy now by the way Here's the good thing, um, the really good thing that I see um, in the market right now. First, we did take the time, finally, we took the time to build a um, consolidation area. So here we are above that consolidation right here, and we have a little bit of price support right in this area. So if we do get some selling and pullback, this consolidation right here could serve us very well and prevent those bears from really bringing on a full-on sell-off attack so let's hope that we can find that support in there and then get a defense by the bulls to push that back uh, back up let's take a look at the spy real quick spy breaking this downtrend line uh kicking up through there just really close and then just oh man it came so close little air kiss of that 50-day moving average and then caught some sellers um profit taking pulling back so we came very very close to touching that once again i would not rule out the possibility of seeing those bulls trying to find a way to push that up there to uh, kiss that area. But you can see we've done this before where we've came really close and that's where a sell-off came in and we crossed over and that's where a sell-off came in. So we have to um, respect that price resistance and also the price resistance that's showing up right here. All that price resistance could um, have a little bit of an effect on the market. Um, once again, this price um, little consolidation that we uh, put in here could serve us very well in any pullback. Watch this trend. In any pullback, that could serve us very well to hold right in here. And remember, we don't have to have a, a massive sell-off. Um, just as good and actually um, much better, much healthier for the market would be if we were to just pull back and do a longer consolidation in here. <clears throat> so we still have plenty of reasons to um, stay bullish the market and not get overly bearish um, until we start breaking down some of those supports. Let's take a look at the Q's. Q's has done a tremendous job, not only breaking this downtrend, put in the perfect pattern. This is the pattern that I always look for. Break that downtrend, hold it as support, buyer step in, pushing it higher. We have also popped through that 50 day moving average and saw some sellers yesterday coming in by the end of the day to take a little bit of profits. So once again, that 50 day moving average, we can get close and see our failures occur there. We can pop through and see our failures occur there, close and see our failures occur there. So we wanna respect this price level and watch that closely for the possibility of a little rest, a little pullback in the market. And then also we have a significant resistance zone right in here that could affect our trend is still up so any rest or pullback in here doesn't necessarily mean that we have to just sink away and this support level that we built right across here 
will definitely be um, handy and possibly serve us well on any rest or pullback. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM also kissing that 50-day moving average yesterday. Popped through for a little bit and then saw a little bit of pullback. Here again, just looking at the price section of the chart, you can see right there is a price resistance zone and a little bit of rest, a little bit of pullback would not be out of the question here. And let's hope that this little support area that we built will be enough to prevent us um, pre prevent or uh, a good place for the bulls to defend prevent those bears uh, from driving it back down through that area so we'll have to watch that close let's take a quick look at uh, the VIX the VIX gave us a little bit of a clue of a problem possibly coming here um, yesterday when it bounced up right off of that price level of support. If we pull this back, you can see that's a fairly big level in here and we were bouncing up off of that this morning. Futures, at least at the moment, futures at least at the moment are looking bearish. We're down about 100 points in the futures on the Dow futures this morning, looking a little bit bearish. And if that carries through to the open, we could see this start kicking up in here. But remember, there's price resistance up um, up in here, and we certainly have this price resistance here. And um, we don't want to see us break back up through this level. We want to see these price resistance work and push us right on down into these lower support levels in the chart. So keep that in mind. We want to stay focused on that VIX a little bit. If fear starts to creep in, um, it will show up here first. Let's take a look at um, T21, 22. That four week new high, new low ratio. This has been my biggest concern, continues to be my biggest concern um, in the market. And that is the fact that we are really, really stretched up here in this reversal zone. As a matter of fact, if I pull this back, you'll notice that even during 2017, all this period here, um, in 2017, we never saw a high this high in T2122. <clears throat> that doesn't mean that we necessarily have to fall. What it does mean is we need a little bit of rest. Um, we do have plenty of room for a fall, for a pullback, but a little rest, a little consolidation can certainly soften this up considerably. So let's watch for that and just be aware that a pullback could occur or begin at any time. And that may be happening uh, this morning. So a lot of uh, data today. Um, that we have to pay attention to uh, this morning. We have an awful lot of economic uh, reports. First thing this morning, um, an hour before the market opens, we get housing starts, we get jobless claims, and we get the Philly Fed. So all of those things um, have the potential of moving the market around this morning. We'll want to watch that closely as those reports come out. Keep in mind, um, we do have Fed balance sheet today. I doubt these things, uh, they put natural gas on here as well as a possible market mover, and that rarely occurs. Um, we also have a Fed speaker today and some bond auctions to uh, consider. But those three items right there on the um, economic calendar could be the biggest movers, uh, so we'll want to keep an eye on that. Also, uh, we have a pretty big day of earnings, and right now we've already seen a failure from a Morgan Stanley. Morgan Stanley missed on their earnings report this morning, gapping down this morning. That's not helping our futures um, go along. We still have reports from KeyBank and um, uh, MTB, uh, Fastenal this morning, uh, PacWest. We, we've got quite a few reports um, yet uh, to, to deal with this morning that could move the market around. So let's keep an eye on that. Watch that closely as those reports continue to come out. And then this afternoon, we have our first really big tech earnings report with Netflix. 
Netflix reporting this afternoon, so we'll want to watch that closely. Kind of our first big tech of this season um, reporting. Also this afternoon we have um, AXP, American Express, so kind of keep an eye on that. So with that, everyone, hey, um, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, could you please do me a favor? Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Click those thumbs up buttons. Click that um, uh, comment button and leave me a, a little comment. It doesn't have to be much of a comment, but any little comment helps um, and helps those algorithms show these videos to more folks. And I want to say a huge, huge thank you to everyone who does do that. It's it's extremely important to me. And uh, thank you for supporting this channel. You guys, you're awesome. I truly, truly appreciate that. But if you could take the time to to um, subscribe and and click those thumbs up, that really helps a lot. So let's take a look at a couple of charts. There's some really good charts developing. And um, let's take a look first uh, when. Um, wind is a beautiful price action move here yesterday on on wind and it may be just a little bit early in this chart but if we take a look at when this is a great pattern this beautiful round and bottom breakout pattern with a really really nice moving average squeeze setting up in here looking really good um, really like that chart when looking uh, like a very possible uh, long position here and we're not looking for anything uh, substantial maybe just a move back up to the middle of this breakdown you know just somewhere in there just a small rally back up so let's keep an eye on when um, LVS Las Vegas Sands is doing very much the same thing has a little bit different pattern as you can see is moved up consolidated tried to pop yesterday and got a little bit of pullback but also that nice little rounding bottom in here with a moving averages all lining up providing a nice little squeeze point right in here that could provide that support so we'll want to keep an eye on that if we take a look um ge kind of a, a one that's just been a, a tremendous dog uh for some time here uh, that is starting to show some really nice signs where we've rallied up now we're consolidating above those uh moving averages notice that that 50-day moving average has not actually made that turn yet. It's still moving down. We need it to make that turn, but all of those shorter term averages starting to come up, this is providing a nice little level of support in here, and that's looking really, really good. Um, other charts like um, SCHW, Schwab made a nice move yesterday after reporting earnings. Here's one of those rounded bottom breakouts, that nice little consolidation in there. Here was actually a buy signal, but it was a, a kind of hard to do right ahead of an earnings report. Got that earnings report removed on through. So what we want to see now is we want to see this either rest, consolidate, pull back, something like that, provide us another opportunity to get into this trend. So we'll want to watch that close. So with that, everyone, hey, hopefully um, you picked up some, some great um, stuff from this video today and I hope you uh, feel free to pass this video along to any friends and family that might um, benefit from this information with that everyone I want to wish you all a fantastic day I want to wish you great profits and we'll talk to you all bright and early Friday morning take care everyone